Hi everybody, it is March 25, 2019. I said last night that I was going to be posting a video on Eric Prince and Blackwater. Well, that's gonna be the next video, but got a little bit of Blackwater, Eric Prince, but mainly Trump. Using mercenaries in this video. Remember this, Blackwater took out a full page ad in Recoil Magazine for their January, February 2019 issue. We are coming. Blackwater. <gasps> Ooh, dark, ominous. What does that mean? Where are we coming? All over the world, which you will see in my next video. But Trump, this was back uh, in, well, who knows? Because he just makes statements about um, withdrawing troops and they're coming home we've defeated ISIS and then a few days later it'll be the opposite oh well no we're not leaving Syria we're gonna keep 1,000 there oh we defeated ISIS then a week later and oh well we're gonna keep more I'm gonna send more troops into Afghanistan who the hell knows all right Trump uh, then had directed the drawdown of 2,000 US forces in Syria 7,000 in Afghanistan and then Blackwater comes out. We are coming. We all know how Trump loves to privatize government services. So is the war in Afghanistan and possibly elsewhere about to be privatized? Our Pentagon spends billions of dollars on private security contractors that are performing a whole lot of missions around the world. How about Venezuela? U.S. and Puppet Guido implicated in terrorism plot against Venezuela. Huh. Telsor did a, an investigation uh, and also the uh, chief of staff, Guido's chief of staff, Roberto Marrero, was arrested along with his bodyguard and that arrest provided an awful lot of evidence of the US importing mercenaries into Venezuela. They're disguised as Venezuelan military funded by assets seized from Venezuela as part of the US economic war. Yeah. And Telsor reports the government unveiled telephone uh, conversations and other evidence between leaders of the right planning violence against the country that came from a Guido aid. Yeah, that's how we roll. Now, Venezuela should be the wake up call to everyone, to Trump supporters, that Trump ain't right, okay? Uh, the arrest uncovered new evidence about the terror campaign planned by the U.S. and the Venezuelan opposition. Mission Verdad reports, and I'll link below, you can read the full article here, translated, but this is a summary of the article. Uh, so, they uncovered new evidence which pointed to a plot funded by assets seized by the United States from Venezuela, channeled into bank accounts through Colombia. Mission Verdad describes how eight to 10 teams of assassins were brought into Venezuela from Nicaragua, Honduras, and El Salvador, and being trained in Colombia to carry out terrorist attacks in Venezuela. So what this is Operation Freedom. Uh, operation Freedom, which is a U.S. operation. But Guaido is the poster boy of Operation Freedom. They planned selective killings of government officials, new sabotage to the Caracas Metro, the cable car, and the electric service. Oh, that grid going down in Venezuela bringing it into darkness, false positive operations or false flags by people disguised as military deserters, a general strike, an assault on Miraflores, and terrorist actions such as the assassination of President Maduro. 
mercenary teams plan to conduct their terrorist acts disguised as the Bolivarian National Armed Forces to portray them as military deserters. deserters. Um, they sh that, that was to show that there was a conflict between the Venezuelan military and Maduro, which is non-existent. Nearly a half a million to close to one million being spent per day to pay these assassins and to bribe members of the military to desert and join them. The money was deposited by NGOs created in January and February into accounts of Benesco and Bank of America at the request of Juan Guaido. Communications indicate the funds came from military seized from Venezuelan companies by the United States. Department of Treasury sanctioned the Economic and Social Development Bank of Venezuela when Guaido's arrest or Guaido's uh, terrorist aid was arrested on suspicion of terrorism. It's what we do here in our country all the time arrest people who are anti-government or destroy them. So, the long-time U.S. effort to put in place a U.S.-friendly government in Venezuela is reaching new aggressiveness and violence under the Trump administration, led by John Bolton, Elliot Abrams, Mike Pompeo, that good Christian, who said, Oh, yeah, I think God did put Trump in the White House. Oh, oh we're in trouble. Um, President Trump has openly called for military action since August 2017. I do think that if we did take um, official military action against Venezuela, there would be, hopefully, we would see an uprising of Americans. Very upset about that. So, we're going to use mercenaries, private contractors, to do the bidding. So those opposed to U.S. intervention in Venezuela will be holding a mass protest at the White House on August 30 to kick off a week of action against NATO and the war against Venezuela. Yes, Trump met with um, the Brazilian president. Brazil, I guess, is going to go under the umbrella of NATO, which will allow Brazil to then um, purchase or get an awful lot of military equipment, get their hands on a lot of military equipment. Oh boy, the world militarized. I'm going to read some of this article, which I read a while ago, and... It's uh, very long, but in it, there's an awful lot of facts that you can verify for yourself. Donald Trump and the Mossad. Oh, who is this with Donald Trump? A Mossad agent. Any inquisitive person should be asking themselves how a so-called anti-establishment candidate like Donald Trump has been allowed to become U.S. President. The Donald isn't anti-establishment one bit. In fact, he's the furthest thing from it. Trump was propped up and groomed to front a facade for public consumption. And when I was living in New York, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, uh, this guy, he, he had, you know, his face plastered on the front page of well, the New York Post and mainly, but yeah, the re reality TV king, The Apprentice, all of it. It was the grooming of Donald Trump. The billion, oh my God, I am so great. I am so successful and I did it myself because I'm brilliant, Donald Trump. Really? No, he didn't do it himself. He got an awful lot of help to get 
to get himself portrayed as such a successful businessman to come right into the White House with so many people thinking he's anti-establishment and he gets the job done. And you're fired, okay? You're fired. Because I only, I only hire the best. All a script. Uh, mainstream media, Hollywood, alternative media outlets continue to play their roles perfectly by portraying Trump as the man who the establishment hates and fears. Late night talk show hosts make fun of him. Saturday Night Live mimics him. The mainstream media constantly reports how the establishment hates him. I have posted a lot. I have got a Trump uh, playlist. Posted a lot of videos. The evidence that Trump ain't who you think he is, Trump supporters. And I'll get a lot of comments from people. Oh, really, Carol? And is that why uh, leftist mainstream media hates him so much? Do you understand that everything is scripted? You're just an audience member watching the play. You know, Trump groomed, my God, this guy for decades has had wars, public wars with people. Remember Rosie O'Donnell? If anybody could withstand the scripted hate, it's Donald Trump coming towards him. But it's scripted, and he knows it. He's playing you. Well, he's still better than Hillary, right? No, he's not. No, because both Hillary and Donald are controlled, and they do what their masters tell them to do. Like Donald Trump, our first real overt Zionist president. This was posted today, and it's clear. Trump, I'll recognize Jerusalem as um, Israel's capital. I'll move the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem. I'll recognize the Golan Heights as Israel's, not Syria's. The extreme pandering to Israeli Zionism is a disgrace. And it's so clear now. He terminates U.S. aid to Palestinians. Uh, <laughs> Trump, who campaigned on peace? so that America's attention and resources could be focused on America's. Make America great again. We're going to focus on America. And you haven't noticed that he's focusing on Israel? Trump has us now more embroiled than ever in the affairs of foreign countries. He does the bidding of Netanyahu. Netanyahu. <laughs> Netanyahu. I was thinking of Beto. Beto. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. He is our first overt Zionist president. And more and more countries around the world are claiming that the number one global threat is the United States. The U.S. continues to be bled dry in endless wars, serving as attack dogs for Zionist plans of global domination. Don't think it's only the Zionists. We've got the Jesuits. Oh, Trump, Jesuit. Oh, Biden, Joe, Jesuit. Got a lot of Jesuits as well that are just as evil as the Zionists. No, it's not only the Jews. I love those comments. It's the Jews that have destroyed our country. Really? So, a comment that I got yesterday. 1% of our population are Jews and they have 70% of the Supreme Court locked up. 
So if uh, I I believe they're uh, they are a tiny tiny segment, but I think they're a little bit above one percent. Well, let's go with one percent. Okay, one percent of the population manifested evil with no contributions by the 99% of the people? Really? So what you're saying is the Jews really do have so much power because this country has been forever up until recently 98% Christian. So that tiny segment had so much power over all of those Christians. They just couldn't find any moral backbone to stand, to withstand the corruption of the Jews. Please, think about your thinking. It's lazy and clearly you need a scapegoat. We've all contributed to this nightmare. Oh, the U.S. continues to be bled dry, continues under Donald Trump, when he campaigned on getting us out of all of those unnecessary wars. More money goes to Israel under Trump. More money goes to the military industrial complex under Trump. And Venezuela was truly The, the, I mean, look, there were so many wake-up calls, but Venezuela put it smack in your face. And still, I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm talking about. No matter which puppet is reading his cue cards to you on your television set, this agenda continues to march on full speed. There will be no locking her up and there will be no draining the swamp. You have all of the evidence. The swamp has not been drained. Programmed, distracted Americans will openly argue with their friends and family about Russian conclusion, collusion. Sorry, what happened? No collusion. We spent how much time on that? Scripted play. Talk about getting Americans distracted. Two and a half years, Jesus, or two years. How about QAnon? Yes, yes, QAnon, the cult. Wow, talk about a PSYOP, bringing people in. And so many have fallen for it. Don't worry, those arrests, they're coming, don't worry. And all of these people going to Guantanamo, you really think <laughs> Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, Trump is going to send them to Guantanamo. Oh my God. We are truly naive little children. Just believing what we, what works for us to just feel comfortable and not be so terrified, I guess. Most of these people will never bring up their presidents being close friends with 9-11 architects, Netanyahu, Barack, um, Larry Silverstein, nor will they ever mention the White House is currently filled with the likes of mass murdering war criminals like Louis Eisenberg and John Bolton and Elliot Abrams. Americans still do not realize that it wasn't really Muslims with box cutters who planned and pulled off 9-11, but it was our close allies from the Zionist state of Israel, their terror group, the Mossad and Zionist lunatics working freely with the United States government and Justice Department, working freely with people who, the neocons, many are Zionists. Oh, but how about all of those Christians? And then I get comments from people saying they're not real Christians. Well, they claim to be Christians, you know, so they're Christians. But most Christians in this country are not real. That's why this evil has manifested. Um, but yeah, they, they are oblivious to who actually owns and controls the U.S. government. Unfortunately, even though 
the made-for-TV installment of the anti-establishment character Donald Trump has proven to be just another case of meet the new boss, same as the old boss. Most of the alt-right cult will never admit that they've been played. Clinton, close friends with Trumps. They're apparently also related. Ah, uh, Trump is nothing more than a puppet for the Mossad, completely under control through opportunism and dark yet blackmail. What Trump and his cronies all share in common is sexual compromise and their loyalty to the international Judeo-Masonic power structure and the terrorist state of Israel. So, you can read this article uh, here. Um, Jesseleen Maxwell, Mossad agent, and she is, or was, um, the head of, like, procuring children for sex with people like Jeffrey Epstein, Donald Trump, Clinton, all of them, you know. You can read this. If you're somebody that doesn't have that confirmation bias operating so powerfully in your mind, and you are somebody who regards the truth as the most important, you will read it. If, if you don't care about the truth, you won't. You care more about your own delusion and maintaining it. Donald Trump partying with his close friends, pedophile Jeffrey Epstein, Mossad child sex trafficker, um, Jesseline Maxwell, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her right, her name right, at Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort. This guy, Donald Trump, is just as sick and twisted as all of them. As all of them. Unfortunately, we do have a lot of Americans who just really don't care. They will support evil, and that's why evil has manifested here. That's why we're going down. Whole lot of information on Donald Trump, Alan Dershowitz, uh, the Zionists, the Clintons, Jeffrey Epstein, all of them. Here he is again with Jeffrey Epstein. All right, I'll link below to these articles. Um, and, uh, this, you know, what did he say uh, during his campaign? Hillary Clinton should be in jail. We're going to do an investigation of her. Um, Then he gets his first interview after being elected. Oh, they're good people. I don't want to hurt them. Jeffrey Epstein. I've known Jeff for 15 years. He's a terrific guy. He's a lot of fun to be with. It is even said he loves beautiful women as much as I do. Many of them on the younger side, no doubt, about it. Jeffrey enjoys his social life. It's scary to see how many Americans just bow to the sick, twisted perverts, people who are so grossly immoral, they bow to people who destroy them. All links are below.